community, including some unknown facts about uh, really um, that the president and the deputy president has had or shared meals at the rural home of General um, Ogola, where of course the uh, the, the son of General Gola uh, had time to share about some of the prospects or uh, the prospective projects he was about to engage in and that would help uh, that larger part. We want to cross over back to what you have are live pictures there uh, of military officials as they continue to troop in ahead of uh, the final ceremony that will lead to the interment of General uh, Francis Ogola. This is how the program uh, looks. Um, once the body has arrived at his uh, rural home and you can also see uh, this are the officers that will do what is called uh, the last post uh, but the program as it looks once um, he's here this is how the military program will will look like there will be a procession, of course, a procession parade uh, to the gravesite. It is currently ongoing up until when it gets here um, at Moore uh, Village, now in Siaya County. Uh, there will be um, a military owner again, and then a minute of silence in honor of uh, um, General Ogola. Then there will be that trumpet, which is called the last post. And that means then that the general... Very impactful will be in his honor as the last post after the last post we'll see a 19 gun salute just like we saw yesterday at the ulinzi grounds in uh, langata we'll see yet another 19 gun uh, salute in honor of general francis omondi ogola and then after that there will be a wreath laying ceremony um you expect the commander in chief to be the first to lay the wreath um other senior government officials as well as the vice chief of the defense forces uh, that is lieutenant general uh, kahariri as well as other service commanders you have the service commander for the kenya army uh, the service commander for the kenya navy and the service commander uh, for the kenya um air force and that will be the last lap uh, for General Francis Omondi Ogola, uh, the Chief of Kenya Defense Forces, um, who has not marked even a year in office. Remember, he was appointed on the 28th of April, uh, 2023. On the 28th of April, 2024, is when he would, mark, he would have marked uh, one year in office as the man in charge. But as fate would have it, um, uh, the General uh, has, left it a bit, has left us a bit too soon. This is a procession now from Senator uh, Obama, uh, Kogelo Primary School. Uh, that procession is headed towards Moore Village, where the general will be laid. It's a short ceremony uh, that does not uh, bring together members of the public. The family has requested that it be a close family um, event. And you heard the State House MC announce, unless you get a brief um, from the family to attend uh, that event, uh, the rest will be able to view the event or the final ceremony uh, from the screens so erected at Senator uh, Obama Primary School. Cool. Um, and therefore, uh, just close family members and uh, the commander in chief, that is the president, the deputy president, and probably uh, a few officers, including the uh, cabinet secretary in charge of defense, Aden Duale. Uh, and the rest of us will see that from uh, the screens. But not to worry, uh, the KBC cameras are at the gravesite. You will also get an exclusive view into the final rights uh, that are uh, being accorded to uh, the general, Francis uh, Omondi uh, Ogola. Um, this is a general who had very interesting, a very interesting lifestyle of a very powerful person, but yet chose to live a humble life, a very simple life. A man who read the Bible cover to cover, he made it a ritual. Annually, every year, the general would read uh, the Bible cover to cover. And that is uh, who this man was. And in participating in um, philanthropic projects, including helping widows and uh, orphans in his rural um, Siaya County, and also participating in humanitarian works, including environmental works, as revealed there uh, by the daughter of uh, the president, Charlene Ruto, as well as participating in construction of churches and homes for the homeless. That's who General Ogola uh, really was, um, not just to the country, but even to uh, his people in uh, Siaya uh, County. 
Uh, what you see in, uh, on your screen are pictures of uh, the final modalities being laid down uh, as the country prepares to inter the body of General Francis Omondi Ogola. And these are the honours. One last time, the outriders there uh, leading the convoy uh, heading towards Moor village to lay the uh, body of uh, General Ogola uh, to rest. And once they are at the homestead, we'll hand over to the team there uh, so that you can be able to listen in and get to understand some of the meticulous things that will be done by the Kenya Defense Forces in honor of their commander. It is a ceremony of fasts. Why? Uh, because Kenya has never lost a sitting chief of defense forces uh, who is still in power or who is still in office. This is the first time uh, Kenya is losing the head of a military uh, while he is uh, in office and that is how uh, special this event um, is and uh, some of the stories told by uh, the children of uh, uh, the uh, general particularly the daughter Lona uh, you would understand the pressures of office and then for a man who was so determined uh, to further his academic credentials um, so much so that he went to the University of Nairobi for his masters and was with the peers of Lona as Lona told um, people of Lona's age is who uh, General Gola was studying with at uh, this time uh, when he's studying uh, Operation Linda Nchi uh, launched in uh, Kenya of course to uh, deal with the insurgency of the Al-Shabaab in Somalia threatening the territorial integrity of the Republic of Kenya. And he was commuting from uh, the Laikipia Airbase every single day to come to uh, Nairobi, the University of Nairobi, uh, to study. Acquiring these academic credentials despite the work pressures uh, that he had at this point uh, tells of a man who was completely determined to ensure uh, that he balances his work as well as um, his thirst for education, and that is who General uh, Francis Omondi Ogola was. We have also seen a uh, glowing tribute paid by opposition leaders, Isoka Lonza Musioka, Martha Karua, um, Governor James Orengo, and the MP for Alegu Songa, Samuel Atandi. All of them, you know, speaking uh, highly of uh, the general and who he was. Uh, you know, you would understand the uh, urge by the opposition really to get to the bottom of um, this uh, helicopter crash. That team has already been formed to, uh, uh, to investigate a crash. And of course, we're hoping uh, they will be able to expeditiously deal with uh, um, and uh, tell the country what really caused uh, the accident that killed General uh, Francis Ogola as he was on a tour of duty of uh, uh, counties that have been previously gazetted by uh, the Ministry of Interior as disturbed counties owing to increasing cases of banditry. And where the general was, really, um, he was inspecting ongoing works of reconstruction of schools uh, that were damaged by bandits in their killing spree and in their damaging spree as they engage in the business of death. And this is where the general was to check on the reconstruction. And you, uh, it's a conversation they had had with the president, and he had told the president that he was going to go and ins uh, inspect uh, those works personally, the construction works that are ongoing. The engineering uh, department of the Kenya Defense Forces is behind uh, those works, is executing those works. And just like has been testified even by members of the Kenya Defense Forces, the general wanted to be in touch with his men. He always wanted to be on the ground. He always wanted to listen to them. He always wanted to check how the work is, in, uh, is ongoing. And that is the hallmark of a commander who is in touch uh, with um, his work uh, and is in touch with his men. And this, again, was revealed in the conversation we had with him the other day um, in the month of August last year uh, when he said the welfare of his men and their family and their families uh, tops their agenda or tops his agenda um, as he leads. Relatively, uh, he would have been the CDF longer, um, but tragically, uh, the general has left us. And now again, it falls within the hands of the commander-in-chief to pick another man yet from the... Uh, ...is still on the road headed towards the village and moving slowly in good speed to honor 
the general. One last up, and the will be it. General Francis Omondi Ogola, born 61 years ago, joins the military in April of 1984. And April is a quite an interesting month. You would say is um, a quite an eventful, eventful month uh, for the general because he joined the military in April. He was promoted to the position of the Chief of Defense Forces in the month of April, 28th of April to be specific. And he dies in the month of April, but this year in 2024. And that is how April is an eventful month for the Chief of Defense Forces, the late um, uh, Francis Omondi Ogola. In the vicinity, there is no other four-star general other than uh, Francis uh, Omondi Ogola. If there is any which, who, who, who might include um, retired General uh, Robert Kariuki Kibochi, as well as um, uh, Mwadede, uh, as well as uh, Julius Waweru Karangi, uh, probably even Kianga, because we saw retired General Kianga yesterday at the Ulinzi grounds. All of them are retired. The only person who bears the title of a four-star general within that vicinity is General Francis Omondi Ogola. The other person bearing the title of general there is the five-star general who is the commander-in-chief, and that is President Dr. William Samuel Ruto. So in that vicinity, there is no other four-star general. It is only uh, Francis Omondi Ogola. And he ceases becoming a four-star general when he is interred. Generals don't die. They just fade away. And his sword, um, the ceremonial sword he used to carry, his heart, signifying his seniority, um, as well as the robe around his waist, will be handed to the family alongside the Kenyan flag and probably even... Uh, the Kenya Defense Forces flag will be handed over to the family as souvenirs for the remembrance of the works and the tour of duty of General Francis Omondi Ogola, who spent 40 years of his life dedicated to the service of country and is what you say for God and country. 40 years of his life uh, really uh, focused on the protection of the sovereignty of the Republic of Kenya. Look at how he dies on a tour of duty. Is a general who dies while working. It's a quite an interesting end uh, to his life um, at this point. So those are live pictures. The convoy is headed to General Ogola's home in Moore Village of Siaya County. It is in a Lego Songa uh, constituency. Um, a Lego constituency uh, that is where he will be interred and you've had stories of how he interacted with the locals the rural folk um, in that village sometimes even being challenged to be posh um, like he's synonymous with the people around uh, that region but then he chooses simplicity uh, over uh, being uh, too boisterous or being bossy and that is who uh, General uh, Francis Omondi Ogola was. From here after the interment of course it is within the purview of the president to decide um, when to make promotions in the uh, uh, offices or rather to make promotions um, and to tell Kenyans who the next CDF would be although it appears like it's cast in stone owing to the Tonja rules as said but for now, what should preoccupy the minds of Kenyans is to send uh, home General uh, Francis Ogola to his final rest. A man who was a staunch Christian, believed in God. And in the sermon that has widely been shared in uh, social media, it gives you the story of a man probably who had a premonition. But you get a sense that the general was always prepared for death. Always prepared for death. Those, uh, by the way, 
in the convoy there, there are special forces of the Kenya Defense Forces. The men you see running uh, alongside the hearse are not just your usual men. They are, they, they are from a special squad in the Kenya Defense Forces. They are special forces within the rank and file of the Kenya Defense Forces. This is them again giving their last honor uh, to a man they called Commander. And that is uh, General Francis Ogola, uh, giving their last respects to uh, that man uh, who they called Commander um, and doing that round with him albeit in the house uh, and that is a sign of respect and honor uh, to the general so we continue to await the arrival of the body at his rural home in more village of uh, alego songa in siaya county and that will be uh, the a kickoff of the last respect um, ceremony uh, by the Kenya Defence Forces. They've organised quite a meticulous ceremony um, that.